on guys, it's David here. Welcome to another Devotional Saturday. Well, I had an exhausting, exhausting weekend. Um, as you know, I went to the Circleville Pumpkin Show. We out, went out to evangelize, which I'm not going to give all the details. I am going to make a separate video for you guys with all the details of just what happened and just my experience and share it with you and hopefully it'll be an encouragement for you. Uh, took my mom down to the All-American Quarter Horse Congress. Uh, that was a really good time. Got to see some things that I haven't seen before. Uh, one thing we do see is, is the pole bending for the horses to do like weaving in between these pole, poles and uh, barrel racing is fun, but never saw the horse mount and shooting, which was really cool. So got to experience that. Uh, but if you saw my video from last Saturday, you know I was talking about my cat, Pretty Boy. Unfortunately, uh, we had to put him down on Friday morning uh, last week. Uh, it was very, very difficult, um, and we just decided to make that decision so he's not going to suffer uh, if we prolong it, uh, which our flesh wants to prolong it, wants to spend more time with him, but also don't want him to be in pain. Um, so it's very difficult, so I thank you guys again for your prayers through that. Uh, but thinking about that and going through that, and I've, we've had a lot of animals had to put down, uh, makes me think about life. And as he's there, as I'm holding him, and, and they give him the shots and stuff, and, he's, and he's, he, he, he passes away, um, really has you think about life, how fast it was. Because I remember my very first picture I have of him is from December 11th of 2015. Uh, and he came into my life there and had him ever since. And it went by so fast. It just flew by. Like scripture will talk about life is fleeting. It just, it just goes. It's like a mist. And like in James uh, chapter 4, he talks about, he says, uh, today or tomorrow, we will go into the city, uh, spend a year there, carry on business, and make money. Why, you do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. We're here for such a short time, and then it vanishes. Those years, the eight years that I, we had with Pretty Boy, were gone in an instant. And it came out of the blue. It just happened so fast. Um... So when you guys are going through life, think about that. Think about your life. Like, are you living for the world or are you living for God's kingdom? Are you living for Jesus? You know, there's other scripture too. There's a ton of scripture I'm going to post in the description uh, for you to just take a look at. But here's just an, a, another one I wanted to uh, share with you. Uh, it's from uh, second, or First Thessalonians chapter 5. It says, Now, brothers, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. And it happened so suddenly. And with Pretty Boy, I have pictures from a couple months ago. He's laying on his side. He's doing great. And it happened so suddenly. Um, it was the past few weeks, but it happened so quick. And that's how our life is. Every year I get older, and I'm like, we're already in the fall again. And, and, and then it's next year again, and it just keeps going and going. Um, and again, what are you living for? Are you living for the things of the world or are you living for the things of God? Uh, think about Bruce Willis. I just saw this again um, recently because I know um, he, he's got that disease and he's going through a lot right now. And I just heard recently again how he's become like nonverbal. And here he was, a man who, he was a celebrity. Everyone knew him, uh, making all the money in the world. He had it all according to world standards. But unless he knew Jesus, he has nothing. And I don't know his, if he's saved or not. That's what I'm not here to talk about. But look at his life, how he, he was this great action hero. And his life has come to this. And it's going to end. And it's so fast that I'm sure if he was able to speak and talk, he would say, wow, I was so young. And, and boom, how just now he's older and it just flew by. Life is just fleeting. But we have to make sure we are dwelling on the right things, that we are headed towards the right things, that we're not here to... to uh, try to get as much money as we can in the world and, and get power and fame. We need to be here for God's kingdom. How many, um, are, you gonna, are you planting seeds? Are you watering seeds for God's kingdom? Are you preaching his word? Are you, are you, are you uh, speaking? Are you passing out gospel tracts? Are you sharing Jesus with people? Because that's what matters. That's what lasts for eternity. And just one last scripture I want to share with you. Um, again, check the description below. There's going to be a lot of other scriptures uh, to take a look at and, and study. But this one's from Proverbs uh, chapter 27. And he says, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. So do not boast about tomorrow, because we don't know what that day is going to be like. We have no idea. 
you might get that call. You might go to work. You might go somewhere and get that call that, that a family member is dying or or you might get a call from your doctor. Oh, you got this disease. And it just changes the whole trajectory of your life. But that's the worldly thing. Keep your focus on the Lord and his kingdom and your direction will never change. You keep it focused on him because that's all that matters. In the end, it's all that matters is, is that we have given our lives, that we have surrendered our lives to Jesus for him to use it at his will. So as he says, uh, just remember what Jesus says, he says, you want to be my disciple? You must deny yourself and take up your cross daily and follow me. Are you doing that? Or again, are you looking for the world to, to, uh, for pleasure? So as you go about your week, again, think about that. Uh, feel free to comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're going through. I'd love to pray for you. Um, and until next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.